What's good NBA fans, it's your boy TT and John. I am back with another video. In today's video, I want to cover the New York Knicks and the trade that they did on Saturday, man. If you guys don't know what happened Saturday, the New York Knicks uh, traded for OG Ananobi, Precious Achua, and Malachi Flynn for RJ Barrett, Emmanuel Quickly, and a 2024 second round pick. Now I'm not gonna lie, I'll be honest. I honestly think the loss of IQ Emmanuel quickly, I think the loss of Emmanuel quickly is a little, a little harder for the Knicks than RJ Barrett, just because for one, RJ Barrett is going back to his hometown in Toronto, you know what I'm saying, his home country, Canada, so, you know what I'm saying, I don't think, and I've seen his press game, his press game, I mean, not press game, but his post-trade interview, and he, you know what I'm saying, he, he loved it, you know what I'm saying, he loved the trade, he loved, like, you know what I'm saying, he was saying he loved being back in his hometown, he loved the team he's with, and in my opinion, I think RJ is where he should be. You know what I'm saying? A team, you know, looking to kind of like not really rebuild, but they're just looking to retool, get better. The Raptors trying to look to get better. And that's all RJ trying to do as well. You know what I'm saying? We all know RJ hasn't been like the a quick, he hasn't been like an immediate star coming into the league, but he has been gradually, you know, making them steps. And we all been wanting to see RJ Barrett take that next step. So maybe Toronto is that spot. We all, we all don't know yet. Like I said, I think honestly, if, Especially if they trade Pascal Siakam this, this season, I think RJ Barrett would definitely be like a vocal point in the offense and he might actually have a crazy season next season or season after that. So don't sleep on RJ Barrett with the Toronto Raptors, please. He might he might he might F around and, and, and go crazy there. You know what I'm saying? Um and Emmanuel Quickly was a six man of the year candidate in New York. Um I love Quickly, man. I'm not gonna lie. He wanted the better backup backup point guards in the league right now. Um, and the New York Knicks, they, they just didn't want to pay Emmanuel quickly. A lot we've seen this with a lot of teams. We've seen the, seen the Boston Celtics do it with Marcus Smart. And a lot of teams has been just doing this. Like, it just sometimes you just, the money just, it won't work. The New York just, the New York Knicks did not want to pay Emmanuel quickly. You know what I'm saying? Which wasn't a bad idea. You know what I'm saying? It's really for, you know what I'm saying, financial reasons, I think. Um, mainly for financial reasons. Obviously, Emmanuel Quickly is going to demand a lot of money. He's a very good player, so he most likely will get that money on Toronto because he's most likely. Well, he started in Toronto's game last in, in that dub, so I don't know. I think Quickly. I don't know. It looked like Quickly don't want to be a bench player no more. He was a starter. I thought for sure they was going to start Dennis Schroeder and let allow you know Emmanuel Quickly to come off the bench, you know, help the bench out. But it look it's looking like he's going to start off as a starter, so. Um, I hope to see him go to the bench still because I feel like he'll be better on the bench for the Raptors. You know, we all know the Raptors don't got a lot of depth and, you know, seeing him come off the bench and, you know, that'll be a lot better. Um, but on the Knicks side, the Knicks have attained one of the best perimeter de defenders in the league. Um, and we all know Julius Randle and Jalen Brunson don't play a lot of defense. Okay, we all know that. Um, so now you actually have players with roles. I feel like when you had all the, when you had RJ Barrett still there, you just had a lot of, you had a lot of like just talent. You had a lot of talent, but it wasn't the best fit, okay. And for the New York Knicks right now, I think it is the smartest thing for them to go out and find players that fit better, not just star power. Cause we all know that the New York Knicks been hunting for star power. They've been trying to get all the every all, every All Star that's available. They are trying to get, okay. So I think what they need to do is slow down on the all, trying to trade for All Stars. And keep trying to look to add pieces like like have the, like they just did. Like this was a perfect move to get on Anobi. Um, a lot of people feel like the New York Knicks got fleeced. And if you don't know what fleeced mean, it basically means like they think the Knicks gave up too much for Ananobi. A lot of people think Ananobi is overrated. I even seen people saying like he only had one steal last night and he's supposed to be a defender. Like, dang, like I'm telling y'all, New York Knicks fans, y'all is gonna love this trade in a couple of months. Y'all is gonna love this trade because the New York Knicks is gonna need a defender to He's not going to stop Tatum. He's not going to stop, you know what I'm saying, these these guys. But he can slow Giannis down. He can slow Tatum down, Brown down. He can slow these guys down a tad bit rather than having R.J. Barrett guarding Tatum. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, no offense to him, but you adding a, a, a tenacious defender on the perimeter. You know what I'm saying? You're, you got Josh Hart, but Josh Hart isn't on OG Ananobi's level. Like, OG Ananobi is a top five defender in the league right now. And that's why I love this trade so much because the Knicks needed this. It was just a perfect fit. He's going to give you some points. Obviously, he's going to throw some points on the board for you. But the main part the Knicks picked him up for is the defense. Okay, he's going to lock some stuff up for them. Um, yesterday, on Monday, OG Ananobi had his debut with the New York Knicks. That's what I was waiting for for this video. I was going to drop this video the day of the trade. 
But I was gonna like, I was like, you know what? Let me just let them play on their teams, you know what I'm saying? So I can cover their debuts as well. I know y'all wanna hear about their debuts. Um OG Ananobi had a decent debut with the Knicks. Um over the T Wolves, they won 106 to 112. And OG Ananobi, he finished with 17 points, seven for 12, 58% from the field. They ain't bad. He grabbed six rebounds, he had a steal, and he shot three for six from the three, 50%. So like I said, if you the New York Knicks GM and you just grab OG Nanobi and you seen this first game, you should be pleased, okay? You shouldn't be excited yet. Obviously, it's just one game. I know y'all gonna kill me in the comments. It's just one game, I know. It's just one game, but this is what you, this is essentially what you're picking up OG Nanobi for. Like, expect this every, not every night, but expect these kind of numbers for OG Nanobi going forward with the Knicks. Like, you wanna see him pit a little bit of points on the board, not, not, not necessarily 20 points, not even necessarily, yeah probably like 15 17 points and like like i said some crazy defense because you can throw him on the best player on the other team every night imagine him imagine having him against jimmy butler so i could see them playing the miami heat in the playoffs or something like that imagine him guarding jimmy butler you know what i'm saying he'll be able to actually slow him down instead of you know jimmy butler going off for 50 you know what i'm saying he might still go off for 50 but you know what i'm trying to say you know what i'm saying having this kind of defender gives you more of a chance to win playoff series and he's not a guy to really get injured a lot so that's that's a plus you know what i'm saying for the knicks and the same night we got to see rj barrett and emmanuel quickly uh debut with the toronto raptors um we already talked about it a tad bit but they didn't disappoint you know what i'm saying they did not disappoint rj had 19 points nine rebounds and he also saw 50 percent from the field um very efficient night for for rj barrett like i said rj barrett isn't a bad player and i sometimes i even i, I hate to say this word because this word can offend people and it i ain't gonna lie, it can offend me as well like if somebody was to say i was mid i'll be a little mad too like but i just feel like rj barrett is kind of like a mid player right now um obviously he's still gonna get better as time goes but i just think he's in that middle pack right now um on both ends of the floor he's not really bad anywhere you know what i'm saying he's not a bad defender or a bad offensive player it just I think he's just in that middle pack right now um and like i said i think if pascal siakam gets traded that will unlock RJ Barrett. It depends on who they get, obviously, but um, I, I don't know. Y'all let me know down in the comments. Do y'all think they're going to trade Pasco, Pasco Siakam? I ain't going to lie. I haven't looked into it. I don't know if Pasco even wants to leave. Pasco has never came out officially and requested a trade from the Toronto Raptors, but they traded Fred. I mean, they let Fred walk, you know what I'm saying? And they just traded OG Ananobi. Pasco Siakam is the last player from that finals round, you feel me? So it's looking like Pasco Siakam is going to get traded very very soon you guys let me know down below in the comments where i think pasco siakam is going to get traded i heard reports about the warriors i heard reports reports about the kings and atlanta i think the most possible is probably atlanta you know what i'm saying i could see atlanta doing some stuff to get him um that would be nice for trey young trey young is so underrated this season he's you know what i'm saying he's a villain in the league now so a lot of people you know what i'm saying don't like trey young but to get back on topic though i think the trade was amazing i think the trade worked out perfect for the new york knicks and the toronto raptors um i honestly think this puts them i don't think this really changed where they will land in the playoffs which isn't a bad thing because they're going in the right right they're going in the right direction for sure but this isn't guaranteeing them any playoff success i'm being honest with you this isn't they don't have enough star power and i don't know if jalen brunson can be a 1a on a championship team i'm just being honest with you i love jalen brunson i love julius randall i just don't think jalen brunson or julius randall can be your best player on the championship team right now in the east you gotta play Giannis. you gotta play jimmy you gotta play tatum you gotta play mb so if if they can't mess with them four them four guys right there they'll have no chance at a chip and i don't think they got a chance at any of them teams yet so y'all let me know down below maybe the philly y'all let me know down below in the comments i'll let y'all argue man like y'all like i did in the last video i also want to shout out you guys for the last video the last video did amazing you guys showed a lot of love to the last video y'all you guys hit the like button we almost got 100 likes on that video um i just want to say i appreciate you guys and hope you guys enjoyed today's video and here we go two more videos you guys might enjoy um just type on one of them if y'all bored y'all still watching youtube you know what i'm saying i love you guys till next video you dig